Today's chapters are Luke 13 and 14. At the opening of Luke chapter 14, Jesus is having a meal at the home of one of the leading Pharisees of the time. And in verse 15, one of the men sitting at the table speaks to Jesus. He says, blessed is the one who will eat bread in the kingdom of God. Now the man saying this probably subscribed to the popular ideology of the time that Jews would be the ones making it into God's kingdom. And Jesus completely debunks this in his response by giving him the parable of the great feast. So in summary, we see this master of a home. He's prepared this wonderful feast for his guests and he sends his servant out to let them know that it is prepared and ready for them. Um, but the people that are invited give pretty ridiculous excuses. Um, so the master is angered by this and he sends his servant out again a second and a third time to invite willing guests um, up until his house is completely full. We who have already responded to God's invitation to salvation are still today being called by him. I feel even during this Lenten season, we are being invited to commune with him and spend time with him and in his word. But I wonder how often we're like the people in the parable making excuses for God. I wonder even over the course of this week, how often we have traded in um, what he has prepared for us for what we deemed more important in the moment. Right after sharing this parable, Jesus went on to remind us that um, being a disciple of his does come at a cost. And I don't know what counting the cost looks like for you. I don't know what it is that is hindering your faithfulness or your commitment to Christ, but I'm gonna pray for us because I believe that God knows and I trust in him to reveal that to us today. So Lord, I pray that your people would be empowered by your Holy Spirit within them to see sin as it really is, empty and truly unfulfilling. Jesus, I thank you that you paid the ultimate price for our sins through your death and resurrection. I ask that you would renew our attention to your grace and your mercy. And I thank you for inviting us to this life that you've given us. I pray that we would truly experience you as a God who is with us. I pray this all in Jesus' name.